Greetings YouTube. This is a message to the men of the world, in particular the men of the US. There is nothing in your life you can compare to the concept of being forced by the government to carry a fetus to term from a rape. Ever. There's no simile, homily, metaphor, nothing that you can throw at me or anybody else that's going to put you in the same headspace as a woman who has been raped and is being forced by the pro-birth, anti-choice government of the United States to carry that fetus to term and to deliver it. Nothing. You will never experience that and nothing in your life will ever give you even a hint of what that would be like. And in some places in the United States of America, that woman's rapist could have shared custody of that fetus that was brought to term. So she would have to then be in regular contact with the rapist because they are both parents of that fetus. That, that makes the Handmaiden's Tale seem like a, a Mad Magazine joke. It is so warped and twisted and sick. And if that woman were to try to get an abortion or succeed at it, she and the doctor that could perform that abortion could spend more time in prison than the man that raped her, even if he were ever to go to prison. And we know that most men get away with it. Something like 98% of rapists never go to prison. Something like 90 Four percent of them never even like get to trial I think it's amazing if you're a rapist you're gonna get away with it you've got a really good chance and there's nothing that at the moment we can do about it because the people in charge of the rules are social conservatives that hate women and like rapists apparently so don't give me I can understand what it must be like for a woman who's pregnant with a child they don't want. You don't. You never will. And because of this, because of your complete and utter lack of understanding and lack of a uterus, you should not be passing laws that dictate how other people use their uteruses. That should not be a thing. The only uterus you should be in charge of is your own. If you don't have one, you should be in charge of nothing. So stop trying to impose it upon women. Stop trying to add this burden to their life because you've added enough already. You'll never understand this. I will never understand this. But at least I am cogent of that fact. At least I'm not trying to pretend I will ever get it because I won't. At least I'm being honest. And I'm supporting the women over their rapists. So why don't you do that? Why don't you believe the women? Why don't you not control their uteruses? Why don't you let them have safe and healthy access to abortions when they want them? Because the only just a real true justification for an abortion is someone doesn't want to be pregnant. And I say we stick to the original 24-week limit because society likes limits, and I understand that. But you're never going to understand this, men of the United States, the men of the world. So stop, stop trying to pretend that you will and stop trying to think that you're a fucking expert about it because you aren't. You don't have a uterus. You shouldn't be able to dictate how someone else 
use is theirs.